All right, here we go with part two of week three for the new SCC football dynasty. And as you can see, is the uh, UConn taking on uh, Georgia Military uh, College. And you see UConn already started off with a field goal. Now they got a touchdown here by uh, Dixon. And they are off and running. With a 10-0 lead. And they playing some good defense. We've got a, a nice little run here. <laughs> that was Gore for 10 yards. And they haven't, they, uh, Bulldogs. Whew, this is not. This was, it's hard to say. Because <laughs> the Bulldogs, uh, at times showed some good defense. Time they showed some good offense, but mostly in this game it was just a rough back and forth uh, outing for the uh, Bulldogs. I think this right here is what broke everything wide open here with this interception right here, and uh, Tyler made it a 22 to three ball game. And then they come back on this option right here. Scott with the 10 yard touchdown run. And the battle of the dogs went to the Huskies as their quarterback uh, threw for 200 yards. And shoot, this was not even close. 33 to 3. Well, like I said, I think it's up to that uh, pick six. Everything was pretty much uh, tight, but I think this is what broke it wide open. And that didn't help. <laughs> Get that. So, uh, yeah, it was a tough struggle for the Bulldogs. It's Bradley threw for 147 yards. Uh, interception. Gore only run for 42 yards. Bradley with 29. So. All the way around, it was a tough uh, sledding for the offense. And who knows, maybe they need to uh, make some changes to the offense. Hey, they got three sacks, though. <laughs> and uh, overall, they rushed for 90 yards. But, uh, they really need to uh, increase that. Keep an outside linebacker with six tackles, two for a loss, and a sack. All right, so now we're checking out uh, Northeast Alabama as they travel all the way to Wyoming. How did this get scared? But uh, uh you see the doing the uh, corn toss here, and then uh, Blunt and Company stars off right here with a nice little throw right here. Blunt with this uh, pass right here. And yeah, he does stay in bound. And Hendrick with the score. Made that into a 7-0 uh, a lead. A nice catch right here. And Blunt came out uh, doing pretty well. Doing the, the first part of the game as the Kingfish is uh, getting ready to score again. And Atari with the score here. And it is uh, 13 to nothing, waiting on the extra point. And it's 14 to nothing. Now, uh, uh, how you, I'm not even going to try that name. But, uh, they had a rough time, the Cowboys did with the uh, running game. Blunt ran for about five yards there. Chambers dropping back here. And we get the sack right there. And the Kingfish defense, which I always thought that their defense was pretty good. It was just their offense that was hurting the team. And we got the punt. Uh, oh, right off his helmet, and he lost it. They got it there, but they wasn't able to capitalize as uh, they 
throw this interception right there. Did you see that? It's blunt. Uh, has more interceptions than he does touchdown passes this season. But like I said, their defense um, held on to their uh, first shutout. I had to go back and check the history. Because that might be the Kingfish first shutout ever. And uh, it's, I think it's, it might be the first shutout of the season for the entire conference. But uh, looking at Blunt, threw for 148 yards. Hendricks ran for over 100 and a touchdown. Got him here with uh, four catches, 69 yards. And like I said, ooh, they got about what? Uh, two sacks? Yeah, two sacks. And the defense just played played tough, man. They only gave up 41 yards rushing and 95 yards uh, passing. So, very good by the uh, Kingfish defense. Skill. Got a force uh, form of recovery. All right. Now we're looking at uh, the Battle of Tennessee. As the uh, Vanderbilt is hosting the uh the Owls of Central Tennessee and as you can see uh, the Owls come out with uh with uh, some defense basically <laughs> and here comes Barker looking at his uh last outing and he come up throwing Sloop Bagan for 11 Got another one right here, at, uh, uh, Xander West for 13. And Barker's going to take this one for a run for six yards. And then he's going to make this throw right here. Catch by uh, Lo uh, Logan. Billy Ray Hayes is going to get caught for a loss. And the Owls is going to kick a field goal. And we get the interception right there. Couldn't run it all the way back though. And so uh, the Owls wasn't able to capitalize on the interception. So they had to settle for uh, another field goal. And it's six to nothing. And one thing about the Owls, they they will uh, kick those field goals, man. They will field goal you to death. And that was the end of the first quarter. And it was a six to nothing. Central Tennessee. Hi everybody, Reese Davis with you bringing you the So uh now we getting to the uh main game that we're gonna cover. Uh Mississippi Tech taking on Iowa. Already had a rough outing against Iowa State. Now they're getting ready to take on Iowa and an opportunity to get a signature victory at Niall Kennick Stadium today. That's going to do it for us. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming right at you. Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I are back at halftime. And, and here comes uh, Iowa. And here we go. We got the coin toss going. Set to get this game underway. And the Blue Raiders are kicking off. He's tackled. Here comes the Hawkeye. The Hawkeyes having a wide receiver like this. I think sometimes it even helps a young nah, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that name. Smith something. As a quarterback dropped back here. And he hit Smith. <laughs> And another uh, pass there, right there to Martin. And, uh, ooh, nice tackle in the backfield. Sergeant on the run. Y'all may not remember, Sergeant. Remember that bowl game we played in season one? <laughs> All right, Martin with the uh, long touchdown reception. What I was talking about with the uh, the, five -yard line. the bowl game from season one, I think it was uh, Northeast Alabama played out, and Sergeant 
ran for over 200 yards. It was a rough outing. Anyway, getting back to this game. It's third and four. For the uh, Blue Raiders. And he just throws that way. Got a nice run there by uh, Sergeant. Another run by Sergeant. And another nice run by Sergeant. And they was able to keep him from getting the first down there. Third and two. Whoa. And he gets the first down. Uh, that's Young. Mm, the backup. For four yards. And Sergeant uh, lost two yards there. Nicely done. Look nasty and company. Oh, and another stop. So now on third down, they throw. Oh, and wide open. And that Brandon Smith. Wide open. The quarterback is four for four right now. So uh, I'll go Masterson with the 16 yard reception by Russ. And then Masterson going to take the run right there. He's going to get 10 yards in the first down. And he's going to hand it off right here. And that's red for six. And then they're going to throw it here for another first down. It's Cole for eight. And then he's going to throw this one here. Gain a seven to Cole. And they're going to hand off here. Oh, nice fight. And he gets the first down. That's uh, red for ten. And Masson right there got caught in the backfield. So on second and eleven. And that was a nice uh, play right there. And then we got the sack right here. And that was the DJ Johnson with the say with the sack. And he goes to kick the field goal and boink right up the upright. Watch this. Watch this. Doink. <laughs> so he wasn't able to uh, get the uh, field goal. Payton for a rush for four yards. And then he gets this long rush right here. As we uh, count down the Last of the bit of the first quarter. It's 14 to nothing. Iowa. Off to a good start. Not, not good there. So now we're back to the Owls and the uh, Commodores. As Billy Ray Hayes with a reception there. Wasn't able to get the first down. So the Owls settle for another field goal. It's 9 to nothing. 9 to nothing. And kind of the our defense as they've been playing well all game and now here come Barker here with a nice throw to uh, Snoop Bacon for 24 yards and then uh, another nice uh, throw there as Xander West got a 12 yard gain there and then uh, throw there Oh, Jefferson with the catch. And then, uh, got an incomplete right there. And that's going to end on third down. And so now they have to kick another field goal. So now it's 12 to nothing. And out. But like I said, this is how they play. They don't mind kicking field goal. Whoa, what a hit. Mo, the quarterback for uh, Vanderbilt, takes a. Uh, uh, Hit, look at that. Oh my, oh, oh man, that had the height. Oh, ow, oh my goodness. Ah, oh, like a car crash. Ah, whoo, had to stop watching that. <laughs> so, uh, shoot, but his first, he got the first down. Oh my goodness, he probably got a headache right now. <laughs> so, and uh, they was able to make a stop here in the backfield on third and three. Look like they're gonna have to settle for a field goal themselves. 
as the Commodores finally got on the scoreboard. And it's the 12 to 3. And that's the half. As uh, Central Tennessee is playing some great defense. Alright, now we're back here in Iowa. Watching the Hawkeyes lead 14 to nothing. And the defense looking good here for the uh for the uh Mississippi Tech. Masterson for six yards there. Gonna hand off to Reed uh Red, excuse me. And Red's gonna get five yards. And then the throw here. And incomplete. And uh, another good defensive stand by Iowa. Wow. Nice tackle in the backfield. That was Ryder. And they got a, they got the screen. Oh. Nice hit by uh, Buck Nasty to end that one. And they wind up punting. And now the Blue Raiders got the ball back. And there go Red. <laughs> Gain of 17 in the first down. Going to hand off to Red again. And he's going to get another first down. Gain of 21. And, then, and oh, and Madison's going to take this one. He's going to get six yards. Nice third and inches. Gonna get to the fullback right there, and wow, and he's gonna break the uh, line as Bobo gets nine yards from that. Now Masterson, oh, cutting the backfield, sack, lost the five, and Masterson gonna throw this. Oh, and that was a nice throw to uh, Cole. Get the first down. They'll go Reed, and he's gonna uh, Red. I keep saying Reed, Red, and he's gonna punch it in for the score. And the Blue Raiders is on the board, 14 to 7. Now they're going to try this screen here. And, whoa, he breaks the tackle. But it's 4 for 9. They had to punt. And here comes the Blue Raiders. Oh, that was almost an interception. Down to a minute 20. Nice throw there. And they got the first down. And got a little hurry up going. Minute 15 left. And they snapped the ball. And Masson throw here. And out of bounds. Nice catch for the first down. And down to a minute eight. And we got the touchdown right here. By Jason Light. <laughs> Jason Light with the score. And now I was back with the ball. And he's going to step out of bounds right there at the good game. And then it's uh, second and two. And the quarterback going to take off right there. Get the first down with 40 seconds left. And he's going to throw that one down the field. And we're down to 16 seconds left. The quarterback is going to take a throw here. And they got the touchdown. And Martin with another touchdown catch. Wow. How did he get open like that? And at the end of the half, it's 21 to 14. Uh, oof. I was able to get that last second score, but now we're going back to the uh, to Nashville as uh, Knight just caught the uh, pass right there for the uh, out. And then we got the throw here. Nope, we got the sack. So uh, Vanderbilt with another stop. So this pretty much been been the story of the game, mostly defense. But then they get this wide open play right here for the outs. Whoa! And that was Matthew Knight on the uh, reception. And I believe that this might open the game up right here. As 
as they finally uh, get the first touchdown of the game. Tennessee. As you can see, uh, Vanderbilt uh, early on was uh, playing some good defense, but that last play, and at the end of the third, it's 18 to 3, and the Owls are trying to remain undefeated going into the fourth quarter. All right, now we're into the uh, third quarter here. As you can see, Iowa is uh, still holding on to a 21-14 lead. And they're doing a run here. Going to get the first down here. And there goes the cheerleaders. And they're going to get the run here. Ooh, nice stop. Nice stop. And the quarterback gonna roll here and then he's just gonna take off. But uh wasn't enough, so they had to punt it away. And here comes uh Red to run there. And then his master in here gonna get the first down here. And then he gonna hand off here. And on fourth down. Got a punt again, and here comes Iowa. And running back. Uh, gonna fight for uh, six yards there. And he gets the first down there, Sergeant. And then he gets another first down right here. So to get to Sergeant again. And uh, that's pretty much the third quarter. No offense in this one. 21 to 14. Going into the fourth quarter. And uh, hey, the uh, Blue Raiders still got a shot. All right, getting back to Nashville. And Vanderbilt getting this long uh, pass play right there. 37 yards. Al still leading 18 to 3 and Vanderbilt uh, went for it on fourth down and was stopped. And we got a turnover rolling down by the for the Al. And then another situation where the it was fourth down at the goal line again. And Mo is sacked again. So that's his back to back uh, fourth and goal. And we are late in the game here. And that uh, pretty much wraps this game up. Nice win there for uh, for the out. 18-3. As Barker was named the MVP. Barker with 269 yards passing. Xander West with uh, six catches, ninth, 97 yards reception. And then looking at the defense, man, this is a solid defense. Three, four, five. They got a bunch of sacks. <laughs> All right, and they help. They help Vanderbilt a 29-yard rushing. You can win like that. Nash Rich, two tackles, two for loss, two sacks. <laughs> All right, so now we're in the fourth quarter here in Iowa as Mississippi Tech is going to see if they can do something about that score. Madison trying to run right there on third and one. And got an incomplete, so they're gonna have to uh, punt there with 551 left. And then uh, I with the ball here. Uh, 
the back, dumped it off there, and then they gonna give the sergeant right here. Second and eleven. And then they get the sack here to make it fourth and thirteen. With four thirty-three left. And then they got a sack there. Next he went goes down. Then you get the throw here on third and seven. Can't really rush with the cat. So now they're going to do that no huddle. And then the throw here. And wow, head in his hand, but he couldn't bring it in with 308 remaining. So they wind up punting. There's a nice catch and tackle right there by the uh, receiver. There goes the quarterback. Now he's going to take off. Whoa. And Buck Nash is trying to take his head off with 214 remaining. And then I will get the first down there. Sergeant with a gain of five. And then they're going to dump it off there. And uh, got a nice tap. Third and five. Whoa. I don't know what happened, but the quarterback goes down. That's Tank Hall with the uh, play there. So now, 30. Three seconds left. Masterson goes down. Negative eight. Got 27 seconds left. 25 seconds left. 22 seconds left. 20 seconds left. Now you're going to spike the ball. And it's all of a sudden third and 18. 17 seconds left. And he's going to knock it down with 15 seconds left. And it's fourth and 18. So they have to go for it here. And Masterson is going to throw here. And wow, what a catch. And he's going to take it all the way in. Whoa. Harry Russ. Oh, man. With six seconds left, the Blue Raiders can tie it up on the extra point. But wow, talking about giving it up late in the game. Yeah, that was a nice throw. She's been doing that all game long, though. So, uh, there you go there. And they got the extra point, and it's 21 21 with six seconds left. And this being the final play of the game, you know, throw the ball deep, Hail Mary style, and got the interception right there. Nicely done. And now they're doing the coin talk. Let's see who get the ball first. But before we do that overtime, we want to take a look at uh, uh, the Battle of Texas between the Longhorns and Northeast uh, Texas State. And you see the Longhorns right there. And they're ready. But at the end of the uh, first quarter, it's a 7-0 ball game for the, uh, for the uh, Longhorns. And then jumping into uh, the second quarter, it's uh, 14 to nothing. Uh, uh, the Rangers just missed the field goal. So now it's 17 to nothing with three seconds left in the second. And they get the kick there. And now it's 20 to nothing. As a uh, the Longhorns is getting ready to, to pull away from the Rangers. 20 to nothing. Mm -hmm. so, come on, Rangers. And late in the uh, third, the uh, third is over. And Texas was able to get another touchdown. But both defenses kind of held their own a little bit. But Northeast Texas State. Just cannot score. So now we have the uh, overtime. And Sergeant got the reception down for 10 yards. 
And then you get the throw here and the incomplete. Uh, second and ten. The quarterback uh, scrambles and he's gonna take off running and he's gonna duck on there and then he's gonna keep running for the score. Peyton uh, was able to get the score, so now here comes the Raiders. And Reed, Reed is cutting the backfield, bounds two yards. Then they're gonna run with him again, and then he lose one yard. So now it's third and thirteen, and they're gonna let him run again. And he's gonna get four yards. So now it's fourth and nine. So Matson gonna drop here. And he's gonna throw, and there's an interception. And by that inception and overtime, the game is over, and our wins. The Hawkeyes get the victory. And their quarterback throw for 244 yards. And for Mississippi Tech, that's the second loss to a team in the state of Iowa. <laughs> wow. 28 to 21. Uh, it was a good game though. Went into overtime. Uh, Masson threw for 202 yards, two touchdowns, and an interception. And Red rushed for 119 yards and a touchdown. So I mean, what more could you ask for? Um, uh, Rush with 100 yards receiving and a touchdown. Light with 56 yards receiving and a touchdown. And Buck Nasty with six tackles. Ryder with a sack. Hall with two sacks. Man with a sack. So, yeah. So, uh, it's a great game, man. It's, good. it's, it's a great game. Um, couldn't just, just couldn't pull it out. Just couldn't pull it out. Need a little more uh, offense in the passing. And take hall. Defense attack. Five attack. Two for loss. Two sacks. Pretty good. Pretty good. So, hey, we just checking out the final of the Texas, uh, Northeast Texas game. 41 to nothing. Um, the Rangers couldn't get anything going. And I mean, they could get nothing going. They offense just completely, just completely just destroyed by the uh, Mongolian defense. And uh, the Rangers defense just couldn't stop it. Blake threw for uh, 104 yards and an interception. Uh, the running game was completely non-existent and the receivers uh, Fletcher with 10 tackles uh, a couple of sacks yeah, got a couple of sacks so the defense had a moments but it was mostly the the, the the offense that hurt in this one only 71 yards rushing and only 103 yards uh, passing in first down, that's just not gonna get it done. The Reyes gonna have to pick his game up. And Roddy here, five tackles, two for loss, two sacks. But hey, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode as we bring in a close to uh, uh, week three. So until the next video, you have a good one. Thanks for watching.